All right, glorious Saturday to you all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dean Gartellis with me tonight. I'm Liam Waters, the intern. Thanks for having me, Dean. Absolutely love having you here, my friend. Uh, shout out to Mike Lynch, my mm. trusty, faithful, loyal companion in the booth, is in Boulder tonight. Mm. As it turns out, he supports both his kids. G locking it down in Boulder as we speak. Funny, that's, where, that's usually where I am. Right? A little weird. Also, you know what I was thinking is that Usually you have to ask uh, Mike Shaw for another mic for Mike Lynch. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was confusing at all. It's a lot of, <laughs> lot of mics in that sentence, Liam. Yeah. Uh, you know what? We've got, we've got Shaw trained. They do a great job. Michael texted me this week and said, is the intern going to be there? That's right. <laughs> it's usually the third mic is from me. But. And, and I said, well, yeah, he is. And so he sent me a picture of headphones. So. Shaw, nice. we love you, appreciate you being here. Thank Opportunity you. to say thank you tonight. Sponsorship of our broadcast by the Payton family, Barb and George. Yeah. Thank you so much for your generosity and support of these Regis Raiders. Uh, if you can hear my voice and you are not named Payton, you should thank them too. Thank you, thank you. And uh, George, uh, hope you're tuning in. It sounds like you're tuning in from afar. So uh, exciting times. We'll see what we get for you tonight. But again, thank you so much. And if you would like to sponsor a broadcast, please reach out to me. Reach out to the player you know. They'll put you in contact with me, and we'll get it lined up. So with that, Liam, it's quasi-familiar foe, right? We, yeah. we, we've seen Monarch once before. Um, they are a worthy opponent for sure. Uh, bit of a draw to start the new year against a couple of the top teams. Took a little bit of medicine last night up in Fort Collins. Mm -hmm. Look to rebound here, come back stronger, faster, more committed, and I think these boys have it in them. It's supposed to be a challenging game, and you know, Monarch's a team that I like to beat, so personally, I'd like to see a W on the board for the Raiders tonight. Hey, big fan of that, and you know, like Winchy said last night, you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. I wouldn't want anything but the best competition for these boys. Right, it's a measuring stick. You measure up or you don't, but you have a goal to get towards. So the buzzer sounds, the pucks get to the bucket, and the boys will gather here at the cage. Liam, you hit us with the lineups. Let's do it. A little bit of a different lineup today because we're seeing an appearance from, I believe, four varsity players. So we'll go through it. First line, 16, Alex Watt, centering 19, Trey Noyce, and 89, Andrew Brennick. Next line, number seven, Anthony Otero between number 10, Bo Payton, and number 18, Pearson Wiedemeyer. Number 28, Anderson Stein between number 29, Barrett Hatcher, number 15, Matthew Franz Lubers. Number six, Christopher Smith between number 56, Max Hawker, and number 26, Liam Robinson. On D, number five, Jack Daly, number eight, Cedar Regan, I believe his first game skating with the JV team. Number 14, Liam Lynch with number 53, Jeremy Kornmesser. Number three, Zegan Beasley with number 25, Sam Wessel. Number 39, Jorgen, Michael Jorgensen, or Jorgie, starting in net, backed up by the other Michael, Gartelos, number 32. We're thick with Michaels, we're thick with Liams, and I love to see Cedar here making his JV debut. We appreciate Varsity letting him warm up for this moment uh, through, the, through the season. Yeah. So he's ready for prime time tonight. Uh, so gr great to see Cedar here. Uh, it, good kid, great family. Uh, say the same thing about Jeremy and, and Alex and Andrew. Uh, happy to have them. And, you know, the game within the game, we saw, looked like Monarch gave their little cheer first. So our boys are 1 0 on the night. Yes, that's right. And, Gathered, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, might as well shout out the coaches on the bench, too Mr. Alan Waters, head coach, 
and assistant coach Tony Tucci. A lot of wisdom coming from that bench to these boys, getting them set for tonight. Georgie makes his way to the blue paint. We'll do some hockey. Let's do some hockey. Looks like we're going to start out with Trey Noyce, Andrew Brennick, Alex Warat, Jack Daly, and Cedar Regan. Love that. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Let's play some hockey, boys. Lynchy, we miss you. That was for you. Yes. Tendy's still getting ready here. Ref telling Noyce to take a step back here. Center ice face off. Uh, Alex Wara in there. <laughs> Already getting messed up here. Hey, face off is contested. In the feet. Still contested. Yeah, still Center contested. Ice. Oh. <laughs> back to Monarch. Defenseman. We'll go D to D. D to D again. Here comes Trey Noyce on the forecheck, and Jack Daly keeps it in. And here comes Monarch the other way. Andrew Brennick fighting for it. Good over play there from 8-9. Yes, nice. Over to Alex Warrott, who will dump the puck deep. And no icing. Ref waves it off. Got the red line good enough. Trey Noyce will hop off, and I believe Bo Payton will hop on the ice. Back to the action here on the wall to the center. Monarch with the puck now. Back on the wall, number 11 with speed on the outside. He'll rip a shot wide. On the other side for number 9. Alex Watt takes a whack at it, but he's unable to get there. Here comes Alex Watt in the middle, making a move, trying to find Andrew Brennick. Just misses, and he will get off the ice. Nice stick by Bo Payton, trying to get possession of the puck there. Jack Daly, 5-on-5 five five action there. The good, good play five by wins him. it. That's right. Back behind the net. Cedar Regan, eight on eight here. Some weird stuff going on with the numbers. <laughs> Boy, it's like they planned it. It's weird. Well, you can't take a penalty if, you, if it's a guy with your same number, is I think the rule. I agree. Fighting for it on the wall here. Got Bill Payton, Anthony Otero on the ice now, the captain. A good play, a good stick by Cedar Regan. We're in number eight tonight. Shot from the high slot, misses the net. Just over the top. In the corner now, Jack Daly. Trying to get a stick on that. On the wall, nice play by Bo Payton to get a little stick lift in there. And number eight, their number eight, on the wall. Curling, cutting back. He'll put that puck behind the net. Pearson Wiedemeyer will chase after it. Anthony Otero in the center now. Captain with speed. Yes, sir. He will put the puck deep and he will hustle, but he's separated from the puck there by number 17. Monarch will regroup behind their own net. Just missed that pass, and Jeremy Kornmesser will collect it. Some put it D to D. Fresh legs. Raiders got a change. Very good. Monarch will regroup the puck, protecting on the outside. Here they come on the outside. Number 97 making the move. Some silky mitts. Sorry, that's 87. To the front. Goal. Number 7 for Monarch. 12-39 left in the first. Far post. Good pass play from behind the net. That Monarch team can fly. Well, you saw that number three with speed on the outside. Looks like number seven with the goal. We want our seven scoring, not theirs. Yeah, we do. Boys will fight back, though. Anderson Steinlein steps out there. Centerized faceoff. Contested now. Kind of one forward for the Raiders as Anderson Stein trying to get that deep, and he does. Nice play by Anderson Stein there. Tasher. 2-8 so strong on his stick. I agree, and they will say no icing on that call. I guess they thought that Jeremy Cormesser could have gotten the stick on it. Jeremy Cormesser behind the net now. He cuts back, unable to make that pass work. Shot, nice save Flash by Michael Jordan. It's not even Wednesday. At a kid, not Jordan. Even Wednesday. Nice, nice save there. Really, really nice save. Dangerous chance in Replay front. Replay here. Really a carbon copy of the play that got him a goal. They went glove side that time. Jorgie up to the task. He'll airdrop it to the ref to get the faceoff going at the far dot. Christopher Smith wins that forward for the Raiders. Sam Wessel trying to find Matthew Franzlubers. Excuse me, that's Max Hawker on the left side. Nice keep, all, almost kept in by Christopher Smith, Sam Wessel. Bounce that off the boards trying to find Max Hawker. To number 17 who puts it up to seven for Monarch. Misses that pass and Sam Wessel by a nice play to the middle. Christopher Smith with Liam Robinson in the middle now. 87 with a sil silky mitts on the outside. Played nicely by Max Hawker on the outside. Wasn't going to let what happened before happen again. To the point, dump back deep. 87 
Doesn't go for it. Sam Wessel trying to put that pass in the middle for Zegan Beasley. Just wide. Chris Smith off the boards. Out of the zone. Here comes Max Hawker. He'll put the puck deep. Raiders will get a full change. Here comes that first line again. Andrew Brennick in the zone now. Monarch breaking out. Cedar Regan puts that off the boards. Nice play there. Forces Monarch to go regroup. Not enough for icing. Four check and force there. Nice job by Alex Waugh and Andrew Brennick. Jack Daly with the puck on the point. To the net. Nice shot. Turn aside. Good rip. More of those, please. I agree. To the corner now. Andrew Brennick in on the four check along with Alex Waugh. Puck to the middle. Nice stick lift by Trey Noyce who will put the puck back deep. Good play by him. Good forecheck here by Andrew Brennick and Alex Watt working together well in the corner, battling for it. Trey Noyce now will get a stick on that as 98 for Monarch was trying to break it out. They'll try again to break it out. Jack Daly on D along with Cedar Regan with speed, number 22 for Monarch. Trey Noyce trying to get that stick lift and a nice big hit by number eight, Cedar Regan. Good physical, clean play. To the front, nice play again by Cedar Regan. And here comes Alex Watt trying to find Trey Noyce on the left. Got that they motor going, 19. Raiders will get a change all except for Trey Noyce. Who is pressing the puck, F1 down there. Good work. Anthony Otero to the center. Finding Jeremy Kornmesser on the left side. He'll dump it deep. Good smart play by Jeremy Kornmesser. And Pearson Wiedemeyer and Bo Payton will follow up on the forecheck along with Anthony Otero. A little bit of a newly formed line here. Monarch behind their own net, D to D. Sending it to the middle. Pearson Wiedemeyer, high slot, shot! Doesn't get through, good Just look. blocked. Good opportunity there. I like that chance. In the corner now, three forwards battling for it. Good step up by Liam Lynch. Takes a hit for his efforts, but a great play nonetheless. Jeremy Kormesser puts the puck back deep. Pearson Wiedemeyer will hop off the ice. Matthew Franz Lugos replaces him. 91, trying to break out of the Monarch zone. They want that home run pass. They Play, won't get it. Played well by Lynchy and by Corny. Corny. Back to Lynch. Shot. Oh, that one just missed. Up over the net. Here comes Hatcher. Nice centering pass to Anthony Otero, who puts it back to Hatcher off of the legs of the ref. <laughs> <laughs> Zebra trying to get out of the way. It's not as easy as it sounds, folks. Behind the net is Franz Lubers and Otero. Front. Boy. Just in the skates of the Monarch player there. Jack Daly trying to step up. 81, sorry, 91 on the outside. Two on one here. Shot saved by Georgie. Behind the net now, net move, net is off. Ref will blow the whistle, 8.35 left in the first. Boy, good look there for Monarch. Good position play there by Georgie. Had the shot centered, hit him in the chest, at a kid. Mike but playing well so far, not sure how many shots he's got on, but he's looked pretty good so far. Agree. Face off far dot. He's on face off. Alex Watt in there. One forward for Monarch to the point. 41 shot. Just wide. Jack Daly in the corner. We'll tap that up to Trey Noyce. Trey Noyce trying to find the middle. Just misses. Good physical play by Jack Daly on their number five. More Once again. More five on five violence. I have a feeling we'll see a lot of that this game. Nice stick by Andrew Brennick. That puck just doesn't leave the zone. High slot. Number five making some moves. Good play by Alex Watt to retreat. Boy, 16 picked his pocket there out of kid, Alex. Yeah. Number five, Jack Daly will put that off the boards for Trey Noyce, who sends that deep. You know, good play. 19 tied up a stick, got the puck deep. He saw Brennick fly into it. He did. Here comes Alex Watt in the middle. Pulled down, no call, no problem. Yeah, no call. Zegan Beasley with it now. Boy, a little hook there, too. Still no call, no problem. Big hit on the ref. <laughs> hey. Here Got to get out of harm's way, ref. Yep. Here comes Alex Raw in the middle, supported by Trey Noyce. Over to shot. Trey. Shot. Oh, man. Good, good chance there. Good rip. Still in possession. Behind the net. Monarch will regroup. Off the glass. And a nice play to keep it in by Sam Wessel, but not for long. Here comes Monarch. Well, good play. Well played by Wessel there. A great job by Sam Wessel to play the puck. Up to Liam Robinson with the bubble. Over to Christopher Smith. Smith will dump it deep. Take a hit for his efforts. Behind the net, goalie plays it over to Christopher Smith. 
battling for it in the left corner now. Seven minutes left in the first. Puck on the boards now. Monarch comes free with it. They will take their time. Makes a move on his own player. Hey, it's a good move on his own guy. They're yeah. off sides by a bit. Another good step up by Sam Wessel, number 25. Ref playing the puck it. well. Puck got to go first at every level I know of, Liam. Offside. It didn't in that case. Coach Ref Zebra saw it. Puck will come out of the zone. And Coach Waters, I think, trying to, oh, no. I thought he was trying to save all the way down, but uh, giving his players some directions. He's telling them to get the puck all the way down. Yeah. Uh, you know, here I see the captain. I see Peyton and uh, Weeds. Looks like Wiedemeyer, yeah. Along with Lynch and Cornmesser. All righty. Defenseman for Monarch will dump it deep. Behind the net, Jeremy will get there first. Corny off the boards. Nice play up to Bo Peyton. Nobody there to the point now. Stepping in to the top of the circles. Wasn't able to get a shot off. Monarch player behind the net. Watch that slot. Watch that slot. Good call. Anthony Otero with the puck now. Trying to find Pearson Wiedemeyer on the right side. Monarch will dump that puck back deep. Liam Lynch, nice hit. Good physical work. Forced the player to panic and make a move. And Jeremy Cornermesser up to, looks like, Pearson Wiedemeyer. That puck will not make it for icing. Four check and force again from Bo. Like those hardworking lines. Jeremy Cornermesser with a nice step up. He Have almost a had shot. a chance. Oh, hit the back. Yeah. Hit the back. No call still. No problem. Keep playing. Jeremy Cornermesser again with a nice step up. Anderson Stein with speed on the outside. He will put it past number 97. Behind the net. Trying to go for the Michigan, it looked like. Back in Michigan. Barrett Hatcher with a good step up. He was knocked over again for his efforts. 5.30 left in the first. High slot. Pierce Bouncing or, puck right there. Nice, that's, that's a goal. goal. Nice goal by, was that Anderson Stein? Barrett Hatcher, one of the two. Greasy goal grinding. These guys working hard down low. You saw that effort payoff puck flopping down at the slot right at the hash marks. That's going to go to Anderson Stein. Steiner buries it. Deuce at a kid. Working hard in front of the net. Great goal by those boys. And it is a 1-1 hockey game. Yes, it is. Alex Wattline will step back, back out there. Center ice face off. One, we'll say that was one back for Jack Daly. Trey Noyce assisted by... Mr. Alex Warrott there on the boards. Jack Daly regrouping. Centering pass to Andrew Brennick. We'll put it to the middle for Alex Warrott. Here we go. Trey Noyce, shot. Saved. Good effort there. Good skate by 19. Got down there. Got the puck on net. Well played by their goalie, but we're still in business. We are. Back to the corner for Monarch. Coyotes will put it aside for the partner. Good speed by Alex Warrott trying to get the puck there. They will regroup. D to D again. Good body by Andrew Brennick. Brennick with some good work to force the player to make a play. Have a Cedar shot. Regan from the point. Shot. Gloved. And some physical shenanigans going on in front of the net. Refs will put an end to that. I'll tell you what. I like that sequence there. More grinding work from that top line this time. I like right? that. You saw Brennick force their guy back. Warrup pressed it. Puck got to the point to Cedar. He pulled the trigger. Nice glove save by their goalie. We were right there to contest. If he drops it, that puck's going to the net. That's what their defenseman took exception to. And, you know, that's the defenseman's job. Offensive zone faceoff. One back for Monarch. Put it to the winger, number 91, centering pass. Jeremy Cormester on D. He'll keep him to the outside. Nice work as number nine was trying to protect Pick. the puck on the outside. Corny picked his pocket there. To the point, number six. Trying to find that pass, but Liam Robinson picks it off. Coming near side. Robinson, nice pass to Hawker, who almost had the move there. It was a good look. It's a little sticky puck. It happens. Back for Lynch. Over to Christopher Smith, who will dump it deep. Here we go, boys. Goalie tries to play it. He cannot. He does not. On the far side boards, Christopher Smith in on the forecheck along with Max Hawker. Jeremy Cormesser back now, trying to bounce out off the boards. Good play by Liam Lynch to get back and knock that loose puck away. Mark now, they will regroup. There's a glove on the ice. I believe that's a Regis glove. It's Lynch's. The kid kind of hit him in the chops. No call again, no, no real problem. Jack, nice play there, slips the hit, comes Physical out with the play puck. play by Jack. Bo Payton on the left side now. Anthony calling for the puck. Nice pass up to Anthony. 
Otero. To the front! Pearson Wiedemeyer just unable to get there. Oh, he's there. Plays he's it down still there. Low. Nice play in the corner now. And that's going to be a penalty on the Raiders. That may be I, going to Pearson? I'm not guess? sure. We shall see. I think it's on Monarch. Ah. I think they're going to call that hit on Pearson mm. at the boards. The I captain like. takes a seat in the sin bin. Collect his thoughts, contemplates oh. his actions. We're going with a matching penalty here. Ah, oh, darn it. So Pearson Wiedemeyer does go to the box. Their captain does as well. We will remain five on five. Some good effort by the boys so far in this game. I agree. It's an inspired effort so far. I wanted to see how they'd respond to last night's adventure, we'll call it. And I like what I see so far. No quit in these boys. Of course, I knew that was the case. We've seen that all along this season. I agree. They had a tough, tough night last night. They weren't going to let that happen again. So five on five, we will remain. Monarch with the puck now. Centering pass. Bounces off their stick, and Jack Daly will send it over to Cedar Regan. Regan trying to bounce that up the boards. Two on, partial two on one now. Five shot. Bounces kind of high there. Nerve backing shot, but Jorgie played it really well. Fine blocker save there. Puck up. Steiner was right there to bat that puck down and back to safety behind the net. A good play. More five on five action there. And I don't mean five players on five <laughs> players. I mean number five on number five. In the corner now for Franzi and Regan in front of the net. Nice play by Pearson Wiedemeyer to get there. Sorry, that's Here, we go. Here comes Barrett Hatcher with the puck. He shoots. That was knocked aside by a stick, but that probably would have gone wide. Good play nonetheless. Franzi knocks it back down for Barrett Hatcher. And Sam Wessel will collect to that center. Zegan calling for it. Fans on the pass. Number eight played nicely by a stick of Wessel. Wessel. Good play. Good play, 2-5 towards the net. Play. That's, Good wow. save, Jorgie. Good save. And Misses their the player net. knocked the puck off, knocked the net off. Their guy did. Good sequence there. Good battle by our guys. You see why Monarch has had success. They're strong, they're physical, they're skilled, but our guys are sticking right with them. Uh, puck squirted awkward to the slot. Their guy uncontested. Georgie got big. Puck stayed out of the net. Their guy knocked the cage off. Fortuitous for us. I agree. D zone faceoff for the Raiders. 206 left in the first tie game. Alex Rott will take this faceoff. One forward. Good work by Trey Noyce to knock that. And here comes Andrew Brennick with speed, supported by Trey Noyce, but 15 got there first. Good 97 will dump that deep. Good hustle by their guy. I agree. Number 25, Sam Wessel behind the net. Good patience to put that over to uh, Zegan Beasley. Beasley with time and space, puts it up to Trey Noyce. Nice pass. Stick to stick. I love it. Keep going. That puck turnover, and here come Monarch the other way. A good play, and Jack Daly will get there along with Trey Noyce. A great back check by Trey Noyce. That kid's motor doesn't quit. You hear me talk about it often. We got a couple of motor guys. 19's one of them. High slot shot wide. Number five, Jack Daly will pick that up, put it up the, off the glass. Never a bad play. And we almost end up with possession. High slot over to the right side to the point. The Monarch shot saved by Jorgie. And he holds on. You talk about that soft chest as a goalie, right? Mm -hmm. You get center to the puck, that puck comes in, you eat it up, no rebound, nothing doing. You let your team regroup, get the face off, and get back to business. Good play there by 3-9. And if the other team wants to put the puck in your chest, <laughs> let no em. problem. Have at it. No problem at all. Another D-zone face off. Every time, every time we play one of Michael's friends, I tell him Michael's most sensitive right in the logo. Try to get him there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Bo Payton gets the red line and dumps the puck deep. Boy, he paid for it, though. Some shenanigans going on in front of the net again. That's going to be a penalty. Looks like on... I hate to think it's going to be on Liam Robinson. They're going to get him it for might. a trip, but I'll tell you yeah. what. What I like about that play, 2-6, their guy was all over him, and he was having none of it. That's right. Right? Stood tall, got his stick tangled up in their guy's skate, so that is going to put you in a box for tripping. But you like to see... Especially our freshmen kind of stand tall like that in contact with some of these bigger kids. He got the rare tripping penalty without the puck anywhere near him. That's right. <laughs> D-zone faceoff on the penalty kill. Two-minute penalty coming up. Just under a minute left in the period. We got the small fast clock going. That's right. Nice faceoff win by Anthony Otero. Just puts it back in the corner. Never a bad play when you're shorthanded. Anthony Otero will nicely send it off the boards. 
Good clear by Anthony. He's Sp nodding his head. He, know it, he knows he did it well. Special teams opportunity. Special teams got to be special, right? Anthony That's Otero. Line. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, use it all you like. I agree. They need to be special. And I, you know what I love better than goals? Short-handed goals. Short-handed goals are the best. Got a good PK unit out there with Corny Lynch, Otero, and Peyton. On the outside now is Monarch. They'll set up their power play. Discipline play here. Watch that box set up. Will expand and contract. Shot from the right side played nicely by Jorgie with Turned the pad. Turned aside, got that flipper out. Front shot, another nice save. Bo Payton trying to get there. Monarch will patiently set up. We'll reset that box, play. watch our boys regroup a bit. They do this box well. Seven seconds now. Oh shot, shot, nice doesn't block. Get Great block by the captain. Doing captain, captain has, things. he has a knack for it, doesn't he? Doing captain things. And that Time will do out. it. And you saw Lynchy slip that hit by their guy right at the buzzer. Heady play from 14. I, I like our penalty killers there. Each of those kids, miles a heart. You know, penalty killing is not uh, <laughs> glorious, mm -mm. to say the least. It's a, a, I always say blocking shots and killing penalties are a labor of love. You'd rather not do it. No, nah, you'd if rather you not. option. You'd rather not. not. But, but if the team's got to kill one, man, sign me up. That's, that's what we do. And, and I, you saw it there, commitment to these guys, playing the system, setting the box, expand contract, take away lanes. No real opportunities there. A couple of shots got through, but Jorgie up to the task. I like it. Has to be done, and some real determined players out there in Lynch, Corny, Peyton, Otero. Some captains out there, some real leaders. So halfway through the penalty kill, we get to regroup a little bit of the bench in between periods. It is 1-1 one, one after 1, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure that's exactly the score I would have predicted, but I like it a lot. These guys, our, our guys really have, have skated hard, skated well, and they're not shying away from it. I think that's the biggest thing out of last night that I liked it tonight. Uh, a lot more confidence in, I think, puck movement, in skating, owning our space, all, all the things that you want to see out of a good hockey team, I think we're starting to do tonight. I, I know it helps with some of our roster, but it's all the guys doing it, not just those four. Yeah, and two, picking up for each other when they make mistakes, right? That's another thing. Miss a pass, get back quick, put that effort in, and I think that it's uh, done good for them so far. Yeah, can confirm. Coach Waters talking it up at the bench saying, boys, that's a good period of hockey. Now let's use that as the new low point and build it from yes. there. Maybe uh, put the clutch in, shift down, and accelerate a bit more into the second period. Clutch is that third pedal for you youngins out there. I drive an automatic, so. Yeah. I do, too. Uh, I wouldn't know. But you know what? Much better first period today than yesterday. This is what we like to see. Great starting point. Absolutely. A little goalie summit over there with a couple of Michaels talking it out. Yeah. And yeah. Henry there, too. Michael to Michael chemistry. And Snow in there. I, I, I love that. I, I think the brotherhood is alive and well, Liam. Mm -hmm. you, you talk about it and everybody does, you've experienced it. I, I'm a big fan. I love seeing that out of these Regis Jesuit Raiders. I see two captains out there, Otero. I see Daly, Regan, Peyton. Yep. So they'll keep the same penalty kill unit out there, hey. actually, except for the defense. Hey, you know what? I like it, though. All four of those guys. Peter Patter. Face off. Let's get at her. Anthony Otero will take the face off. Monarch wins it. They'll put it. try to put it deep. Regan will get there first. Nice play. Protecting the puck on the boards. He bounces the guy off of him. A little reverse hit there, and the Raiders clear the puck. Well played by eight. You're not going to get the drop on that kid. They'll kill 15 seconds more of the penalty. Nice forecheck by Bo Payton. He has the puck. Putting it to center. Anthony Otero just <laughs> able, uh, unable to get a handle on that puck, but a great play. Hey, well done. Captain there on the back check. Poked it away. Yes, Had sir. him dump it. It's a 50-50 puck right now. Behind the net, Jack Daly plays it to the corner. To the point here for number 14 to the left side. Coach yelling to get into the lane. Shot. Screened there by um, one of the players, number 11 on the Coyotes. A great play by Jorgie to still save that puck. To the front. Intercepted by Anthony Otero and he's got speed. We got numbers. Two on one. Back Anthony check Otero on the left side. Shot. Saved. Boy, aggressive play, play by their goalie. He was out at the circle. And the penalty is over. Penalty Pen killed. That away. Stretch pass to the blue line, over to 91 with a shot. That was more of a shot pass, and that was a close one in the good, corner now. Good look from Monarch, but well played by the Raiders. I agree, to the point, 41 shot. Nice save with the pad again by Jorgie. Turned aside. 
to the corner now for Alex Warat. Warat over the Lynch. Nice pass, finding the lane. Trying to find another lane to Trey Noyce. That puck's and alive. That, They're going to wave it off. They will wave that off. I agree with that decision. Trey Noyce Hard to the check. front. Oh, man. Bit of a, a nice play. crunch there. Keep working. Liam Lynch on the point. He'll shoot. Backside. Oh, man. Another good play. Boy, nose, nose for the net, right? They're coming together. Keep working. A good physical play. Putting that shoulder in it is Liam Lynch. Trey Noyce will have to put the puck deep and get a change. I see some frustration here from the boys in black and gold. Their guy hits their the goalie. goalie. Bit of a oh. there. Hit from behind. And I don't know how to call Put your hand that. in the. Oh, come on. You've got to. Ref's ready to blow the whistle. I don't know why. Unbelievable to me, but no matter. Keep playing hockey. Boy, I saw some physical play there, some dirty play by the Monarch player. That's incredible to me. He watched no the call. whole thing. It was like he was waiting to see if he was going to call our guy for a penalty. Yeah. Well played, good patient, disciplined play from Jack to not take a penalty there, but goodness. Shot from the high slot blocked. Franzi's shot was blocked there, but a good play nonetheless. And here come Monarch. Boy. 15 with speed, nice play. A little bit of a slash there. I should hope there's some penalties coming here soon for Monarch. We will see, but keep playing hockey, boys. On the point to the left side. Number seven uncovered. Jeremy Cormesser Settle will get down. there. That's right. We're chasing boys a little, little bit. Yeah, boys are a little settle. riled up here. Yep. Got to settle. Good Point discipline shot. play at the slot there by Z, staying at home. Very good. Here comes Monarch will regroup. They'll put it off the boards. Backhand play. Jeremy Cormesser will get that puck. Franzi offside right now. He fell. And the uh, refs seem to have put the whistles away a little yes, bit. Yes, they have. They swallowed them for now. Play some hockey, but keep it clean, Raiders. That play to the front of the net was put aside by Zegan Beasley. Battling for it on the wall now. Still poking away at it. 11.33 left in the second period. Still a tie game. Still trying to play the puck. Monarch will come free with it. They backhand that to our guy. Steiner trying to find the middle for Barrett Hatcher. 14 will get there first and put it ahead. Jeremy Cormesser with some nice physical play. Stick on puck, body on body, to across. Nice now wait. save by Georgie. Georgie got that pad to there. It. Got the toe to it. Out of kid, Georgie. Here comes Hawker with speed. 77 will get there first, but a good physical play. The boys are getting into it with the body. I like it. Well done. Oh, boy. Regan trying to take the body there, but the slip. Monarch player slips the hit. To the point, number 77. Goes down low to the center. High slot. And they'll go back to the point. Robinson with some good aggressive play there. Regan as well. Jack Daly will put that, trying to find his winger, but another turnover. High slot, great stick by Cedar Regan. Just enough to stop that from becoming a dangerous chance. Hard hit on Christopher Smith, but he'll fight back. And here come Monarch, that is offside, I believe. By a bit. Yeah. Stripes right on it, out of way, Zebras. I'd like my black dime and black rival coffee, please. <laughs> I guess I already blew it though with See, that. I don't know if uh, we're gonna get it after. Uh, but uh, but no, good good effort. We got you saw it. We got a little heightened, mm -hmm. and always kept their cool. They kept their cool and they reset and they got back to discipline hockey. More of that, please. Anthony Otero. And and what we're, still contesting. what we're gonna see more and more of is this game goes on and we keep it close. The boys in black are gonna get frustrated because they're not used to tight games. I agree. And that, that favors us. Good hit by Jack Daly on number 15 over there. I haven't seen five on five in a little, a little bit. Ten minutes left in the second period. Puck comes free to the wing side. Chip. Anthony Otero with a nice chip play. That Curling may play. go for icing though. They wave no it, icing. Wave it off. Caps right there. Jack Daly with a hard, no, that hard was, hit. That was the captain. Otero. Sorry, that is the captain. Anthony Otero. I thought it, but I didn't say it right. <laughs> it's all right. He will back Boy, a little that shove the in the back. They're going to have to watch that stuff away from the play are the Zebras. It is getting chippy. Pearson Wiedemeyer trying to find that puck along with Anthony Otero. I'm all for physical play. I could do without the cheap nonsense. Pearson Wiedemeyer showing some physical determination there. And we will get a penalty for it. Pearson Wiedemeyer. You're going to call him for the, the holds. For a hold. You know, you saw his arm up there. I, I don't mind the call with the hold, but I'll tell you what. For all the things they let it go, they decided to call a hold? We'd like to see some go the other way. But as Mr. Mike Lynch always says, these games will self-regulate if they don't start calling penalties. So, so another shorthanded opportunity, special teams here. 
must continue to be special. You say that word opportunity. I like that wording because we could very well get a shorty. You know it. This is hockey. You work hard, it pays off. These guys already know that lesson. I think Coach Waters may be talking to the Zebra probably with much kinder language than I was using about, you're going to call that but not the other stuff? Keep your eyes open, sir. I see Brennock, I see Brennock, Warat, Corny, and Lynchy out there. I like that PK unit. These four guys can battle. Let's go. 926 here in the second. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Stripes drops the puck. One back for Monarch. Up high. Takes a shot, blocked nicely by Andrew Brennick, number 89. Back to the corner, sticks on the right and, side, nice sticks stick. Sticks and bodies and lanes, they're gonna want that back side. And Andrew Brennick did that just very nicely. To the middle, kept in by number 14. Over to the right side, the captain for Monarch. He'll send that across to the left side. He'll shoot, nice blocker save by Georgie, and another good glove save. Bouncy puck there, Georgie stays with it, keeps it out of the net, he'll grab on and once more airdrop it to the ref to get a face off, defensive zone. 30 minutes gone from that PK so far. Strong play from the home team. We'll get fresh legs though. I see Daly and Regan and Peyton and Otero. Some advanced te technology, we're air dropping pucks now. <laughs> it's it's Georgie's speciality. Ask him about it sometime. I like it. 91 with the puck, high slot shot. With through, a rebound. Through traffic saved. Regan trying to send that puck out. Anthony Otero out there to get in lanes, as well as Bo Payton. Shot wide by Monarch. Number 10, Bo Payton, getting in there, doing some physical work, trying to get stuck on a puck, and that'll be a penalty on Monarch for a trip. They'll get possession. They tripped up Bo Payton. Exactly halfway through that PK, Monarch will go to the box for a trip. Sit in the sin bin yet again. Some four on four for a minute and the Raiders will get a one-minute power play. And it was their captain again. Nine must like it in there. I he guess so. Keeps going back. Keeping the seat warm. Offensive zone draw, even strength, 4v4. Offensive opportunity to come out of it. We're out, Brennick, Daly, and Regan will stay out there. Let's go, boys. We're out in to take the face off. He'll win, win it back to Daly, nice job. Over to Cedar Regan. Regan with the shot. Save, rebound, loose, loose, oh, still man. loose. Another one, almost rebound, another to rebound, but. Goalie man. pounced, and uh, they let Brennick know they didn't like him standing there. He says, hey, that puck's loose, I'm gonna be there, you can count on it. It sure did look like that puck was loose there. It was. It was just kinda right in between the pads Goalie there, finally covered it, as hey, he should. You play until the whistle. That's right, face off. Another face off. One forward from Monarch, they'll chip it past Cedar Regan. Jack Daly racing with number 11. Attempt to get a shot on that there. Cedar Good Regan. hustle there from the assistant captain. Nothing doing. Hey, they got more space here on this 4-on-4, four four, so they'll use it as Andrew Brennick tries to find Alex Wara on the blue line. All the way down. Is that on net? It is. Georgie will settle it. He will cover it, and the Raiders will get a D-zone faceoff. You know, it's 50-50 there. Should the goalie play it? Should he cover it? He looked up, saw gold and black coming at him. He thought, we'll just get the whistle and reset. Never a bad decision. No, no, take the safe play. Uh, defensive zone draw, we get new penalty killers. I see Corny, Lynchy, Zet Noyce, and Brennick. No, I Warrett. See still and Brennick, Brennick and Warrat. Yep, yep, yep. 29 seconds left in the four on four before the Raiders go on the power play. Corny trying to put that off the boards. No way, Jeremy. And Alex Warrat trying to battle as well. Sorry, that's Brennick, and then there's Warrat. Lynch, if his ankle's broken a little bit there. Lynch will stick that aside, good play. He'll get the body in there. That's what Lynch does best. That Lynch kid, so strong and smart with the way he gets at it. You look at him, play that puck, move their guy off the puck and kick it to his teammate. Well played by 14, Papa gotta be proud. Raiders on the power play now as Pearson Wiedemeyer will step out of the box and here he comes. Here's a breakaway Ooh. for Pearson Wiedemeyer. He shoots. Good Just wide, good save. Hey, still going though. Up to Lynch, up high, he became F2. Lynch on the top of the circle is over to Andrew Brennick. Just played by Monarch Stick. Boy, Boy, Weed's paid for it in the corner. I can't believe they let that hit go. He's taken a couple. Yeah, he has. Alex will reset behind the net. They're in a change, stretch the ice, boys, get going. Trying to find Cedar Regan on the right side with speed. 
on the outside, behind the net. He'll take it behind the net. Cap jumps Anthony up. Otero trying with the wrap around there. Shot outside. Reek still working. No way, Cedar. Battling for it in the corner. Payton jumps in. Anthony Otero almost had possession of it. Bo Payton behind the net. No one there. Here comes Monarch with speed breaking it out of their own zone. Seven seconds left on the power play for the Raiders. They'll send it across. Just unable to get that eight to seven pass. Anthony Otero will chip that off the boards, trying to find Bo Payton. Power play over, both teams full strength in our zone. Cedar Regan, more eight on eight action here. Bo Payton fighting for it along with Jack Daly. Poke it free to Bo Payton. High slot shot. Doesn't Just get through, wide. again blocked by the captain. Yes, a good, a good block by Anthony Otero. Another high slot opportunity for the Coyotes. Just under six minutes now in this period. To the corner again. Raiders look a little tired here. Behind the net. Nonsense. They They're will reset here. Shot. Turn aside. aside. Nice job by Jorgi again. He's had quite a few shots in this period. That puck goes out of play. Up into the reset. netting, a welcome whistle and fresh legs. A good opportunity for the Raiders to get a change here. Well played, though, still. I mean, fatigue aside, <laughs> positionally strong, right? They're staying in lanes. Yep. They're not giving up shots. It's well played, well contested. Again, I say we're 1-1 under six minutes in the second. The longer this game's close, the more fussy those guys are going to get, the more time they're going to spend in the box. we got to be strong and be smart and be clean and keep going. Face off one for Monarch. Raiders get possession of it and they'll break out. Monarch will regroup. D to D pass to the middle. 98 loses the handle on that play. Behind the net. Steiner getting in there. Some good physical work in the corner. Up to the top. Slap shot blocked by their own guy. Good. Somebody's going to take one of those. I like it. It's their guy. A little I like interference it. there. No call, no little problem. Interference. Hatcher comes out. So is Franzi. Here Franzi shot. shot. Saved. Nice play by their goalie. Good look from Franzi from Hatcher. Never mind. A shot on them. And the ref saying, hey, you can't do that stuff. I'm going to put you in the box if you keep doing it. I appreciate that instruction and the communication from the refs, or are they just going to put him in the box? That would be even better. The penalty box is open. He deserves I it. I would say throw him in there. He does deserve it. They're going to call the high stick. High stick. Well done. 2-2, two, two, have a seat. We'll go back to work on the power play at 5.09 left in this second period. Warrant will step in for the faceoff. Come on, boys. Power play goal would be pretty. I agree. I see Watt, Noyce, Brennick, Corny, and Peyton. I like this line. As do I. All of them a scoring threat. All of them strong. And what are they doing now? Now we're changing again. It looks like we're going to go with Liam Robinson, Christopher Smith. Hey, that works for me too. But it looks like uh, it looks like we're still five on five. They matched us up. They put one of our guys into. Seems to be that way. Monarch will come free with it. Backhand pass to the left side. To the center with speed number 16. Trying to make a move on Corny, but a great stick by Corny to get a stick on that. Fine Push play the puck by 5. Side. Fine play by 5-3. Great play. Puck knocked out of the air by Monarch guy. Robinson trying to chip that around. Battling for it near the blue line here. 4.45 left in the second period. Pushes it to the corner. Christopher Smith over to Max Hawker on the wing. Pushes it forward to the point. Bounces off the boards. Corny will get in there. Good job to stay with his guy. Up to Liam Robinson. Monarch Coyote did a stick on that, but here come the Raiders the other way. Number little, six. Little bouncy Smith. puck. Little bouncy puck indeed. Liam Robinson slips that hit. Well he'll played, 2-6. Push pushes the puck deep. Max Hawker and Christopher Smith will stay on the ice and get in there. Andrew Brennick trying to get on his guy. Here come the Coyotes the other way. Oh, that guy wants to toe drag. Well played defensively there by Kornmesser. A great play by Jeremy Kornmesser. Two times in a row, gets a really nice stick. He does a good job with that stick, tracking the puck and staying with his guy at the same time. That puck, those off-speed pucks towards the net are edgy because it's not really a shot, but Jorgi tracked it the whole way, got that big mitt down, and kept it safely out of the back of the net. Out of kid, Jorgi. 4-4, left in the second period. Alex Warrott wins that faceoff back to... Zegan Beasley over to Sam Wessel who knocks it up to Trey Noyce. Nice pass to the center. 
Alex Wara up to Andrew Brennick. Here Brennick we, here we with go. speed. He's got Sam Wessel on the right. And he puts it back to Trey Noyce. Shot Tip deflected wide. wide by their guy. Zegan Beasley will step in. Puts a shoulder into it. Andrew Brennick on the point now. Alexa put it aside to Sam Wessel with a shot. That's put wide. Rebound. Trey Noyce tried to knock it into the net. And the Monarch Coyotes don't like it. 333. Again, I say the closer this game remains, the more fussy you're going to see those guys with the bear paws or dog paws or whatever it is on their chest get fussy. And that, again, I will say favors us. Boys, be strong, be smart, be clean. Alex Wartline will stay out there. Face off. One back to Zegan Beasley. Here they come with speed. Sam Wessel on the back check. Good speed by him. Behind the net. Zegan Beasley will get there first. Off the boards, trying to find Alex Warrot. High slot shot. Up high, way up high. Another shot. Wide. That one goes wide. 314 left in the second period. Battling for it behind the net now. With Sam Wessel, Zegan Beasley to the point now. He will come deep into the corner. Ooh, tries to slip the hit there. That could have been dangerous. On the left side now, to the point. They're set up. Shot wide. They're messing the net a lot, and we will take it. I agree. I was just thinking that. More High of it. Top of the circles. Zeke Good. Beasley plays that nicely with the stick. Good work He'll send it Zeke. forward. Trying to find Alex Watt. He looks frustrated there, but that was a good idea. Just We're unable to capitalize. Right play, stretch pass near side. A good sauce. Up to Alex Warrot. Andrew Brennick trying to follow up. And here come Monarch. Number 14. Dangles. And a bit he of gets a trip tripped there. by Zegan Beasley. Probably the right call. Yeah, no, it was a trip. Goalie to the bench. We have touched it, so we got to freeze that puck up. We will get possession here. There we go. They blow the whistle. So Z got that stick out, and it was an easy call to make. Stick in the skates, you go sit down for it. Z will head to the box and take a seat. 2.15 left in the second. The Raiders will go back on the penalty kill. Still a 1-1 hockey game. And again, special teams opportunity. You know, I, I, it's not even, I'm not trying to be cute when I say opportunity because things happen, right? You work hard, good things happen, so keep going, boys. Let's get a shorty. Let's get a shorty. Face off one back by Anthony Otero. He fights hard on those face offs. Cleared strong. Jack by Daly sends it all the way. Shot on goal. <laughs> I like it. Oh, this is a dangerous misplayed. opportunity. Good pressure. They can't get the puck out. We're there. Dumped back in. Never a problem with dumping that back deep. Anthony Otero does it well. Bo Payton trying to follow up on the forecheck. Behind their own net. Monarch will get settled. Anthony Otero still applying pressure. Half a, half a minute in their zone. I like it. They will go D to D. They're going to want that stretch pass. Anthony Otero still being strong on that pressure. Knock it down with the stick, and here comes Monarch. Drop pass to Bo Payton, and he will send it out. Fine play by 10. Out of way, Bo. A minute and 20 left in the, power, in the period. Excuse me. Another blocked pass. Still a possession. Bo Payton will send that out. A and good chip out. He'll go get a change when he can. And he will continue to play. Andrew Brennick getting back. Trying to get that stick lift. Stays with it. Another wide shot by Monarch. He bro and a broken stick. Drop it and go Is change. That's Cedar Regan. I think Cedar Regan broke his stick there. That's funny. Just under a minute left in the period. Nobody thinks that's funny in the Regan home. <laughs> Sticks no, are expensive. You. That thing went flying, though. Yeah, it did. Goalie will send that stretch pass in the feet. They'll try to set up their power play. Watch that back side. 26 seconds left. Good physical play by Alex Warrot, who wanted the call there. He won't get one. Well, the guy had a handful of his stick. Yeah. They moved their own stick. If they move our stick, that should be a penalty. That should 100% be a penalty. Oh boy, Alex, good hustle, pushes it up and out. Good they play by to, Alex, great hustle. They try to grab a hold, he gets away from them. Number eight, sends it to the middle, high slot. He wanted the tripping call, I think, but... That yeah, was a nice dive. Did, yeah, it was a good dive. Good restraint by the ref. To the middle, to the front, shot. Nice save by Jorgie, and they score. Number 77 picks that corner. That is an even Off strength goal. Penalty was over and killed, but they got it in the back of the net to break the tie. 
and with 2.7 seconds left in the second period, Monarch takes the lead. Just a rebound in front of the net there. Hey, stuff happens. Still a good effort so far from these Raiders. They gotta keep at it and stay confident. We'll drop the puck and get into the third. They caught up quick before. Let's see if they can do it again. That will end the period. Boy. It is 2-1 after two. A late goal by the Monarch. Did you say Coyotes? I think so. All right. I'm going to – I hope I'm right about that. All right. I don't know, so I, I will say Coyotes. I see Dogpaw on their uni, so it might be a Coyote. But good effort and work here from these Raiders in a game much closer than was – probably expected for sure by Monarch given their record. Mm -hmm. We'll go make some ice, we'll talk about it in the locker room, and come back with renewed fervor, as it were, and get after it here for this third period. Uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Sounds great. Uh, I will take the opportunity to say thank you once more to Barb and George Payton for sponsoring our game. If you'd like to sponsor the game, please reach out to me. Reach out to the player you know. They'll put you in contact. But Barb and George, thanks so much. We appreciate you. Without you, we would not be here. Thank you. See you in a bit.
All right. Fresh ice made. Boys are back at the ice on the bench. A few more final instructions from Coach. I'll take this opportunity again to say, Barb and George Payton, thank you so much for sponsoring our broadcast. We would not be here without you. If you can hear my voice and you are not Barb or George, you should thank them too. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not one of them. So. And if you would like to sponsor a broadcast, please reach out to me. Reach out to the player that you know, and we will get it lined up. We are here solely through the support of our Regis Jesuit families and friends. So thank you. So third period, pitter-patter. Let's get at her. Let's do some more hockey here. Let's get after boys. Monarch will attempt to dump the puck deep there. Nice play by Cedar Regan to get in front of that. Alex Warrott dumps the puck deep. High stick. They apparently play. not. Apparently not. Jack Daly keeps it in with his foot. Good play there by five. Down to the corner. You see some renewed effort coming out here. I like it. In the corner. A little hook there, no call, no problem. Hey, Alex Warrott took the hit there and continued to play. That slips by Jack Daly's stick all the way 200 feet. And Jack Daly will play behind the net. Here he comes with speed. If they give him space, he'll take it. Around the outside, tries to protect the puck around him. Loses the handle. Monarch with possession now. Jack Daly still hard in on the forecheck. To the middle. Cedar Regan, excuse me, sorry, that is... Uh, Brennick. Brennick, thank you. That's Hatcher. Here's Hatcher go. on the outside. Have a shot, Barrett. Oh, Big hit on Barrett. Paid for it, but got it towards the net. Didn't get through, blocked by their guy. Zegan Beasley trying to step up there, and he'll end up with the puck. Protection oh. there. Maybe we'd like to see a call there, but hey, no hey, call, no problem. Just hockey play. Keep going. Behind two. Slips by their stick. Their guy. And that will not be icing. Never mind. It will. Looked like, ice, it looked like icing to me. Ref, ref agrees. <laughs> ref agrees. Ref agrees. I thought he waved it off. Offensive zone draw forthcoming. <laughs> and I like it so far. The pace and the tempo from these Raiders keep it going, boys. Hasn't changed one bit, one bit since the last period. Love to see it. I see Hatcher, Steiner, and Franzi. Steiner was in on the faceoff, lost that one to Monarch number six. He'll send it around the boards to the wing in the corner. Good work by Liam Lynch getting in there, along with Anderson Stein. Steiner will lose that one, and here comes Mr. Bubble. Not before he took a forearm to the back. Captain. On the left side, far side, trying to make a move past Liam Lynch, but he does a nice job of staying with him. You're not going to get by that Lynch kid. I agree. Corny sends that over to Matthew Franz Lubers, who will send it all the way. That, too, looks like icing once uh, more. I would like to say that maybe 41 could have played that, but I, I agree. I'm a, I'm a homer, you know. <laughs> we just call it how we see it through our Regis colored glasses, my friend. Yeah. Defensive zone draw. Captain steps to the dot. Faceoff, Monarch will win it back to the point. He'll survey the options, and a nice what? job by Bo Payton to get a stick on that. Pearson Wiedemeyer, good decision to just dump that one deep. Could have gone, but it didn't have a ton of space. He'll pursue it himself. Monarch will try to regroup and get back down the Nothing ice. Nothing wrong with that. And here comes Monarch the other way, number 91 on the outside. Slips Jack Daly to the net. Nice save. High slot. Number eight. We'll try to get a shot off to the front of the net again. Wide. Backhanded wide. To the high slot again. Block. Top of the circle's shot. Blocked nice. by Daly. Yes, nice plays by these guys on defense. Cedar Regan. Up trying to go to the left side. Up and, and out. Bounces. That puck's alive. Captain won't nope. get there be quite in time. Boy, I wish you could beat icing like you can in the NHL. I was going to say that yesterday. But, hey, but icing nice. it is. We'll reset in our defensive zone. I see Wessel. I see Noyce, I see Brennick, Beasley, and Warrett. Thought you were going to say my name for a second. Nah, I, I see wish you. I was out there. I see you too. <laughs> Face off. One back for Zeke and Beasley. Beasley will send that the other way. Good play Troy by Noyce. Z. Troy Noyce trying to find Alex Rott in the center. Unable to. Well, Troy Noyce with a nice stick on well, number 90. Done by Eight. By Noyce. 19 has that motor on the forecheck. Trying to center that pass. Alex Warrock gets a stick on it, but here comes number 98, Connor Bedard. Hope not. In the corner. Z says not quite. Not today. 
Z with his stick stuck in there. Andrew Brennick on the wing. Centering pass to Trey Noyes. Just hops over his stick. Four check in force. They will regroup. Motor Jack, or excuse me, That's Trey Noyes. Yep. Trey Noyes is our motor guy. We have Liam a, Robinson getting in there. We have a couple of them. We do. It's, I, I love that about both our guys, all our guys that go. In the center. Slips the hit. In the corner now. Heads on a swivel. Sam Wessel. Good physical play, taking the body, but staying in his position. Good play by him. Good on the again, point. Trey, strong on his stick, got that puck up and out. Forces Monarch to retreat. Four check alone from 2-6. The rest of the guys will change. Jazz hands there from the goalie. <laughs> Christopher Smith will get a stick on that, just loses the handle, and Bubble will break it out for Monarch. Number seven on the outside. Slips the hit, but loses the puck as well. Christopher Smith trying to knock that one down. Liam Robinson will go for it. They've got it now. Number six will shoot the puck. Blocker to side by Georgie. Liam Lynch loses his footing there, but sticks with it. Number six, Christopher Smith trying to break it out. High slot, backhand, tries to go past Liam Lynch. Liam Lynch will get there first in the corner. Nothing doing, well played by 14. Max Hawker getting into some shenanigans there at the blue line. 41 will step back in, misses the net on that shot. Up and out of the zone. Number They'll have to clear, record. we'll get a change. Captain back at it. Number eight with hands, but Anthony Otero with some good body work. They're exchanging pleasantries just shy of the red line. Some more over here, 14 on 41. Is it a penalty if it's a reverse number? I don't know. Anthony Otero trying to set up. I don't know who that is, but high slot. And shoveled back out, backhanded forward by Peyton. He'll pursue. Bo Payton sends that all the way. Boy, for icing. icing. Icing's just fine by me. A little extended play in our zone, more than I care for. You know, I think what makes up for the fact that we can't beat icing is the fact that we can change on icing. <laughs> yeah, you know what? True story, because if I had to pick one or the other, change on icing is something we need definitely more. That's a bit scary in the NHL. Anthony Otero, the captain, and Superman. I got that right, correct? Indeed. Monarch wins it back. Blocked nicely by Bo Payton. Here we come the other way. Bo Payton just trying to knock that past him. Pearson Wiedemeyer with a nice job to get, get a going. stick on that puck and get it deep. Anthony Otero hard in on the forecheck. Sends it to the front. Here it is. Unable to get a shot. Jack Daly will collect it. Good move. Good patient play. Shot. Rebound. Off the mask. And here comes the assistant captain trying to send it the other way. Nice step up. Out of way, Cedar. Cedar Regan. Behind the net. Bo Payton. Takes a hit for his efforts, but gets the puck past him. Number eight, their guy, goes D to D. They will try to break it out. Kept Tip in. that one. Yep. Jack Daly now. Trying to backhand that to one of our They're guys. They're offsides by a bit. They Ref are. finally calls it. That'll get the whistle. I wouldn't mind seeing him take it to center ice or even all the way down. Looks like we're just going with uh, outside the Raiders zone. That's fine, too. I'm just grateful he saw the offsides. Here we go. I see Noyce, Warrett, and Brennick, along with Wessel and Beasley. They dump it deep. Sam Wessel will go for it. 8.40 left in this third period. Centering War pass, just, just unable to connect. Zegan Beasley getting in there. To the point. Here we go. We Hold got pass. numbers. Here comes Andrew Brennick. He's got Alex Warrett with speed. Shot. Just wide. Just wide. Behind the net now. They've got it. They'll try to skate it out of the zone. 14 will skate it himself out of the zone. He's still flying. Here comes partial two on one here to the net. In front, loose. Nice job by Zeke and Beasley to get there. No shot, Zeke's coming. Go Z. Z tries to make that move around him, unable to get it past him. Boy, gets a and face full of their guy. 7-7 seven, seven, grabbed a hold, hold of Beasley. No call, no problem, keep playing. Alex Warrott takes a hit there. Barrett Hatcher trying to step up. They will leave their zone. Look at that. Gets the red line, dumps it in. Refs watching it happen. Something behind the play going on. It's okay to put your hand in the air if they slash our guy away from the play, but that's just my opinion. 7.40 left in the third period. 98 to 11 behind the net. He misses the puck, and Anderson Stein will chip that up to Barrett Hatcher. Shot from the point. Gets that pad. Jorgie 
getting lots of shots today. Here, Here comes Vera Hatcher with lots of room. Open space. They close it quick. Pass Tries to, to the find center. that center, yeah. Almost. And here come two the other way. Two on two here. 91. Good back check. Well coming played. Coming by Matthew Franzlubers in the great defensive play by Jack Daly. Got that skate out. Kept the puck at the boards. They're going to try the other way. And they're going to call a penalty. Here. I'm going to say on them. It's a high stick on Monarch, I believe. As it should be. 9-1 got his twig up in the grill. He'll have a seat. Can confirm as the Monarch bench opens. And 91 will take a seat. You are correct about that. You go to the box, you feel shame. 7.06 left in this game. We'll go with a man advantage. And I don't think it's going to take two minutes. I think we're going to put the puck in the back of the net. I'm calling so. it a power play goal. Who will be the one to do it? We got Noyce, Otero, Wiedemeyer. No, sorry, that's Warrot, Brennick, and Corny. I'm calling Noyce. Otero. All right. Brennick okay. over to Corny. Corny on the right side, back to the high. Slot where Brennick is. Warrot protects the puck. Back to Brennick. Brennick over to Corny. Corny to the front. Noyce just unable to get a shot down there. Kept it down low in control. Captain will settle it down to Noyce. In the middle, shot. Saved. All right, good look there. Good control. Good patience. I like the shot on net. We'll reset. Offensive zone to of the goalie's left. Same five stay out there. 134 left on the power play. Trey Noyce steps to the dot. Face off contested to their guy. Andrew Brennick gloves it down. Well played. Looking, he'll go over to Alex Warrott. Boy, Warrott with a shot. Couple saved. cross checks right at the captain's back in front of the crease. I know the defense doesn't want you to stand there, but I don't think they can cross check that way. Hey, you know, there were a couple times I played front of the net on the power play. Sometimes it's the price you pay. Spoken like a defenseman. <laughs> Trey Noyce will win it back. Out of the zone, the Raiders will have to regroup. Andrew Brennick will put it over to Jeremy Kornmesser. Corny with speed on the outside. He'll set it up, cuts back. Good move. The Raiders will set it up down to Anthony Otero. Otero. We're out calling for it on the other side of the net. He'll protect the puck. Up to Andrew Brennick. Back to Warrot. Brennick cutting. Nice shot by Warrot. Behind the net is Otero. Boy, good rip there. Good save by their guy. We still with control. Cap. Crossways. Over to Warrot. Back to Brennick. Good movement on this power play. Noise. Over to Corny. Shot. And that's save a nice loose. Save. High slot. Keep going. Brennick. Back to Warrot. 35 seconds on this power play. Down to Noyce. To the middle to Otero. Just misses it. Nice Good. keep by Brennick. Well played by 89, Andrew Brennick. Brennick finds Warrod again. Shot. Loose Look, puck. In loose, front loose. Of the net. They'll throw it down the ice. 20 seconds left in this power play. That is a fine effort, though, from those five guys. We'll get fresh legs. Daly will grab it. Raiders still down by one, but a great power play nonetheless. Monarch will dump it back deep. And that'll about do it for the Raiders' power play. Regan will gather it in. I see Peyton, Steiner, Wiedemeyer, and Daly. Regan. Now, Anderson Stein just misses that pass. That came from Pearson Wiedemeyer. Cedar. Regan patiently trying to pass it up to Steiner. Monarch will put it back deep. Power play over. Both teams full strength, but well competed there really by both teams in that whole situation, but I like the control our guys had. Had a couple of opportunities. Back Keep working, that puck will fall. Cedar Regan will pick it up, put it up to Pey Bo Payton. He'll put it off the glass. That will be an icing on the Raiders. Not a bad move. Raiders can get a change and regroup. 4.30 left in this game. It's still a one goal difference. Defensive zone draw. I, I still, I like our energy, Liam. 4.30 is plenty of time. Plenty of time. Christopher Smith, Liam Robinson, Max Halker, along with Cedar and Daily. Jack. Regan and Daly. Puck drop, one by the Raiders to Jack Daly. Give it a ride. Daly puts it over to Liam Robinson with the bubble. In speed. Liam Robinson. Plays it off their guy to himself. Out of way, Liam. Get going. Puts it deep. Good job there. Monarch trying to break out. Great step up. Defensive play by Jack Daly. Offense is the best defense. 
And you saw Hawkers jump back to cover the point. I love the hockey IQ of our guys. They recognize. Support each other. And support each other. It's a beautiful thing. That puck slips past number eight, and Jack Daly will go behind his own net. Wheeling. Whiffs on the pass over the Cedar Regan. It's a pump fake. We'll call it that. Regan just had one, too. Pump fake down low. <laughs> behind the net, number 11 to the corner. Finds that centering pass shot. Saved. Loved. Nice job by Jorgie. Out of way, Jorgie. Keep going. In the front, high slot shot wide. Contested well by Daly. On the wall. Still contested. 3.30 left in the, in the game. 2-1 Monarch. Boy, a little elbow there from their guy. Cedar jumps in and says, you're not going to take liberties with my guys. Liam Robinson trying to get that. Shot from the point. Nice save by Jorgie. Turned aside. Had a kid 3-9. Hawker trying to chip it past. And behind the net now, Jack Daly will regroup. Sends it up the boards, up the glass to Liam Robinson, off of his leg. That's a trick shot over to Smith. Smith. In they go. With speed. Nice patient play. Trying to find the centering pass to, not sure who that is, Liam Lynch will regroup. Still offside. That was Pearson Wiedemeyer. 2.50 left in the game. Four check from Peyton. Some jazz hands from their goalie. <laughs> Monarch trying to find the stretch pass, the home run pass, and they will get nice. Offensive zone draw forthcoming. 240 left in this game. Let's go, boys. Boy, I'm dialed in right now. This is a heck of a game right here. It is outstanding. I'm going to say face off D to D shot tip goal. I believe you. That's what I like. We'll see. Anthony Otero will get in there on the face off. He there will it win is. it. D, Back to Corny. D to D. Nope, just He'll a shot. He'll shoot it. Ha, that's all right. He'll shoot it wide. Nothing bad about a shot. That's right. Liam Lynch trying to get that deep. Here comes number 16, a one-on-one. -on -one. Nice back check by Anthony Otero. Their guy comes through. Good stick lift by Liam Lynch. Good hustle there from 14. Battle on the boards to the back other side. side. Can't nice get the shot save. right at the post. That stays out. Boy, that puck, puck out of the net. Liam in. Lynch again. Their guy throwing, shoving. We'll have to get a replay on that. Lynchy says, you boards. can come and visit. You cannot stay. He pulls that puck out of the net. Raiders will send it down. Won't make it for icing, I don't think. Anthony Otero hard on the forecheck. That is a fine play by the defensive squad there. And Anthony Otero still with enough energy to get in there. Noise following up. Tied him up, let the rest of his guys change. Fresh legs for the Raiders. Noise to the right side, Cedar Regan. With a shot. Does it get that through? High slot kept in He'll towards the net. In. Jack Daly. Trey Noyce will get in there. Oh! He gets decked. No call. Something. The cross checked afterwards. I would want to call that. They will dump it for an icing. Raiders have pulled their goalie. Empty net, six attackers now. Jorgie to the bench. Give and him more. I don't think that's a penalty. I think that's just because the net was off. I think you're right, but. We had possession going the other way. Ref can fix the net in live play, but they are going to send their guy to the box, I think. No, they're not. They're just going to move the face off out. Jorgie will hop back between the pipes. Jorgie back in net. Warrot will take the face off. Some high action hockey here. Face off. Still contested in the middle. Jack Daly comes free with it. He'll dump it deep. Jorgie back to the bench. Behind the net. They'll get it. Try to send it all the way. Alex Watt in the corner now. They'll get set up to Jack Daly. Back down to Alex Watt. Trying to find Jack Daly again on the point. Nice play to Andrew Brennick. Brennick finding Jack Daly. A nice cycle move there. Shot. Blocker save. Watt will put it back to Jack Daly. Under a minute now. They will send it. Nice play by Well read Andrew by Brennick. Brennick. That could have prevented the goal there. Here we go. Onside play. Trying to find Trey Noyce or... They'll bang it up, but not down the ice. Glove down. Are not you sure. kidding me? I disagree. I but wholeheartedly disagree. He gloved it down inside the zone, but the guy furthest from the play says it must have crept out. So we'll line yeah, up I outside and keep playing. Raiders will call a timeout. Not a bad play. Rest of our guys. Hey, they're humans, they make mistakes, but if you're not in position, maybe you shouldn't make the call. But no matter, we'll get set. Neutral zone draw, I suspect will remain an empty net. Six guys on the ice.
with 35.7 seconds left. I think the guys out there are going to be Warat, Brennick, Otero. I'm going to say Steiner, Noyce, maybe. Noyce and Stein. Noyce. Daly and Corny. Looks right. I like it. We'll find out. We've got 35.7 seconds to tie it up. And maybe get two, but we'll focus on one first. Hey, you got to get the first one before you get the second. It's been a great period, though. It really has. Boys and, and have been fighting hard. It's been a great game. I mean, this is a team that has not had much. This, this Monarch team has not had much in the way of adversity or competition. Right? They've come in high-flying wins. Uh, a one-goal game with our guys is a beaut for us. And if we, if we can knock one back here, even better. So for context, for those who watched yesterday's game, I'm pretty sure Monarch beat Pooter 6-0 last time they played them. So we were expecting a tougher game today. And it's been a tough game, but the Raiders have fought hard, and they are still in this. They are indeed. I see Trey Noyce. I see Bo Payton, Alex Warrett, Cedar Regan, Anthony Otero, and Andrew Brennick. We've got five with Brennick wide. Says, you're going to cover me or not. If we could possess, he'll fly to the cage. You know it. Steps to the dot, and Anthony Otero will win it forward. They will chip it out. Boy, a pitch and fork with the ice down. That should be icing. Icing, as that did not make it to the net. Offensive zone draw forthcoming. We like that. It's exactly what the Raiders want right now is an offensive zone faceoff. If they can win this back and get set up, they may be able to get a good chance. Faceoff to the D. D to the high slot. Shot tip goal. Awfully quiet now. Awfully quiet. Face off. Noise steps back from in. Monarch. Good play by these guys. Two guys on puck. Brennick there. Andrew Brennick over to Cedar Regan. They'll send it down. That should be icing. No ice as Anthony Otero Are you was able to get there, I guess. I don't know. Their Look. guy will send it to the net. That's icing too, but I, not today. Clock running down. Anthony Otero sends that to Noyce, and, and that will that do it. will game. do it. That is a 2-1 game. Well contested, really battled hard by both teams. Interesting non-icing calls, but no you matter. Would have liked to see those, but can't do anything about it now. Hey, the boys will gather together as a team. They'll let Georgie know, hey, kid, good game. He says, boys, you too. It's a team thing. We did it together. One goal loss. I, I'm not a big fan of moral victories, Liam. But I will say this, I, I won't call it that. I will call it a step in the right direction. And I'll call yeah. it an improvement on what we saw last night. Absolutely. And something to build on, to springboard off of as we head to Arizona for our tournament next week. So beauty performance by these Regis Jesuit Raiders. I've got a question. What's the best tradition in hockey? <laughs> it is the hockey handshake line. Yeah. Appreciate the softball. <laughs> I, I say this all the time, and it's just because I mean it. We compete on the ice. We're a community off of it. And you respect the game, you respect your opponent, you respect the officials, and you say, hey, guys, hard fought, chippy moments, sure, but well battled, well contested. Tip of the cap to Monarch. They won. There's a reason they haven't lost this year. But you know what? We're pretty close to these guys. We'll get our shot at them, and we'll get after them. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to the Peyton family for sponsoring. Thank you, Dean, for having me. Thank you for letting me call play-by-play -play today. It was appreciate fun. You, appreciate you calling the game. I, I feel fresh. I'm not, I'm not a, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm well-rested. Chris Ann's going to be sad that I can talk so much still yet tonight. <laughs> but, uh, no, I love having you here anytime you're able to be here. I look forward to seeing you in Arizona. Um, Very excited. And uh, just, just a great way to spend a Saturday. So 2-1 your final. Monarch on top of the Raiders, but uh, well-played by these Regis Jesuit Raiders. So until next time, we will be in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Until then, onward and upward. Thank you. Cheers.